Hey, before we get to a weather report, recently an injured adult bald eagle was rescued and given care by the Eastern Sierra Wildlife Care, led by Cindy Kamler. Eastern Sierra Wildlife Care volunteers played a part in this bird story. Now, close to 450 animals per year pass through the doors at the Eastern Sierra Wildlife Care Center. Now, while trained staff provides critical animal care, volunteers provide help in just about every case. Urge you to read the story of that full rescue. It's fascinating. That's posted on SierraWave.net. And we will note that Eastern Sierra Wildlife Care hosting a free volunteer orientation this Sunday. That'll be from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Imagination Lab, Line Street, Bishop. Get some more information. Call to reserve a spot at 760-872-1487. All right, let's go to the weather map. Sierra Wave Media forecaster Dennis Mattinson saying that uh, we still got the High pressure and lighter winds continued above normal temperatures for Thursday as the high pressure remaining Friday and over the weekend that ridge shifts east over the Rockies in response to a broad scale trough moving towards the west coast. Most of the precipitation will remain at the Oregon border northward, according to Mattinson, but he notes another stronger system could swing across the Sierra maybe Monday and Tuesday. A little rain and snow possible in Mono County then. DMAT says, yeah, details on the track and timing still vague, so stay tuned. Low tonight into tomorrow morning for Mammoth, 28 degrees. Bishop and the Owens Valley will peg it at 42 degrees. Mammoth, June, Mono County, partly cloudy skies. Thursday with some light wind, 49 the high in Mammoth, overnight lows in the upper 20s. Partly cloudy skies, some light wind on Friday. Happy St. Patrick's Day, just going to be some light wind out there. 50, the high in Mammoth, overnight low of about 31 degrees. And by Saturday afternoon, putting in about a 40% chance of some showers. Southwest winds 5 to 10, 45, the high in Mammoth, overnight lows in the mid-20s. Fish up and the Owens Valley on Thursday, looking at partly cloudy skies, just some light wind. 78, the high in Bishop, overnight lows in the lower 40s. Mostly sunny skies on Friday. Again, just some light wind. Wow, 79 the high in Bishop, low of about 43 degrees. And while we might see some partly cloudy skies Saturday, southwest winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Still a lovely late winter day, 76 the high in Bishop, overnight lows in the lower 40s. Well, we're getting some information about a great showing by the Mammoth High School ski and snowboard teams. They're the California Nevada State champions after a long week of racing at or maybe that's a week long week of racing at North Star. Uh, that was last week, March 6th through the 10th. Hey, 36 schools and over 270 student athletes competed in the event coming from California and Nevada. A lot of great competitors for the Husky boys snowboard team, including Nick Hildebrand, Jacob Schroeder, Andrew Gray, Chris Martin, Evan Hilliard, and Carlos Morales. Girls snowboard events. Uh, topped by Mammoth High School athletes Tyler Brooking, Janelle Weinart, and Hannah Goodwin. Both the Mammoth High School boys and girls ski teams won the overall team standings. Hey, leading off was the women's title for the women's title. How about team captain Mallory Posodian, who placed first in the giant slalom. Press release says she even beat all of the guys in her first run. She took second in the slalom, combined tiebreaker for first place. Uh, she took second overall. Hey, other top Mammoth High School finishers included Carrie Walker, Keely Pesodin, Lynn Regalbergi, Devin Cole, Melanie Moyer, Audrey Sandbingen, and Alyssa, excuse me, Olivia Catrasi. Now the Mammoth High School boys ski team head by, led by Captain Hayden Manetter, who was the California Nevada Interscholastic Ski and Snowboard Federation combined state champion after placing third in the giant slalom and the slalom nicely done there Hayden Cody Jane won the GS all their top performances turned in by Mason Forsythe, Peter Hensley Sean Walker and Otto Gubser said ski and uh, snowboard uh, team director for Mammoth High School Connie Moyer I am still pinching myself after this remarkable week with this amazing group of student athletes not only were they so fast but they were such polite young adults the entire time we were there said we had a lot of fun together lots of laugh said very proud of this team they are legendary that's the mammoth high school ski and snowboard teams hey winning another california nevada interscholastic ski and snowboard federation title great job there by the huskies and that entire press release is posted on sierrawave.net
That's going to wrap up news and information for us here on Sierra Wave TV3. You know we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station, all 92.5, streaming on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.